Hey guys, this video is going to focus on um, how to identify a good quality woman. And I'm doing this video because a lot of guys get their hearts broken, not because the relationship just didn't work out and things weren't good between the two. It's because they were cheated on or, you know, had a girlfriend or a woman who was emotionally, physically, and, you know, mentally abusive to them. And so all of these things... Um, could, can be avoided um, if you you're very careful on which kind of woman you choose and this goes the same with women and men guys it goes both ways but I, I tried to narrow it down to kind of help y'all out and also all of this is this video and everything I have to say is under good intentions and it's to help people but also what people consider as good and bad or moral and unmoral is on a huge spectrum so what I find good and moral is not going to be the same as my mother or my friend or whoever's watching this video. So you have to take everything what I'm saying with a grain of salt and hopefully some of the advice will come in handy and you can actually apply one day. But um, And also all the situations I'm giving does not apply to all women. Uh, you know, every situation is different and never judge a book, book by its cover hands down but in the general sense a lot of these things people consider good you know being loyal having integr integrity dignity for oneself being honest being uh, you know not selfish you're very you know you're you're not narcissistic selfless basically so those things are good quite traits i said quite what traits and what we want to see in a partner so uh, that's what I'm going to go over, and a lot of the times, what I'm going to say is not going to apply to every situation, but it's a good kind of general sense to the feel, um, and, and I'm not trying to, you know, I guess, stereotype women, if that makes sense. <laughs> so don't take that. This is all with good intentions here. So. Uh, the number one thing, though, is where did you meet the woman? So if you meet a woman, for example, at the bar or a strip club versus the church or a restaurant or your neighborhood or your, where, your university, it's going to be different. You know, um, for example, a woman who is working at a strip club is going to be, you know, her job is to... <laughs> Uh, flatter men, okay, and to entertain them in a very promiscuous way. So, you know, you expecting that girl to be in a committed relationship when she's in that work environment every single day, you know, that that's, that's going to be tough because she's going to be in an environment where she is tempted continuously. Now, that being said, that there are, there are some rare cases where there are some great women that are just trying to make ends meet. Um, and if you can help them get out of that and they are good women, that's great for you. But in general sense, it's it's a it's not a good thing. And women at a bar, this is not always true, but sometimes those women are just looking for a fling. You know, they're not looking for a committed relationship and your feelings don't really matter to them. They're just wanting to have some fun, which a lot of men do as well. So, you know, it's just where you meet the person does matter, you know, um, uh, not, I'm not saying every woman at a restaurant is a good woman or every woman in your neighborhood is a good woman or all the women in church are good. No, that's not true. But the environment and also what she wears can kind of help you see who she is. For example, a woman that wears a very skimpy outfit, what women wear is what we want people to perceive us as. So if we're wearing a skimpy outfit, we want to perceive that as sexy, beautiful, strong and perhaps promiscuous you know um versus if you see a woman who's very classy and dressed with high heels and a very nice work suit we want you to see us a smart hard-working you know ambitious beautiful you know it just depends so you know but sometimes you can kind of get a view of what a woman wants to be perceived as um so and a little bit about their personality versus are they very out there or are they very conservative uh, the next one is um, is she genuine or does she sugarcoat or exaggerate things for example if a woman says oh I'm super loyal I'm super kind I do all these great things kind you know 
I'm the greatest. And then what happens is her actions don't show it. She's probably exaggerating herself a little bit. And it's all about what people's actions are, not what they say. Another thing is sugarcoating is like if they were doing something that they know they shouldn't be doing. So like she, you know, went to go hang out with Jared and she knew that it wasn't on a friend platonic term. And she doesn't want you to know she hung out with Jared in a very inappropriate way. She'll sugarcoat it and lie about it. So, you know, you don't get mad at her. Another thing is, you know saying, oh, my best girlfriend is so nice, She's you'll love her, she's, my, she's just the greatest, I've known her since I was a kid, and then you meet her best friend, and she's actually very rude and disrespectful to you. That's what I mean by the sugarcoating and exaggerating. You know, do her words correlate with her actions and what, what she said? The next thing is how was her childhood and family life? Now, circumstances for everyone's childhood and family life is different. And I don't want to go too in-depth with that because there are some people that have had a horrible family life and are very honorable, kind people and very genuine, you know. But I guess what I'm trying to direct to is in some circumstances, this is a very subjective one. So take this with a grain of salt, this one, the childhood family life. You know, if there were drugs involved in the family, Sometimes that makes somebody want to get involved in drugs. For example, if their older brother or sister or even younger starts getting into drugs, uh, they're more likely to join into drugs too because their family is involved. If their dad or their mother was a criminal and was in jail the majority of their life, they may think that that's acceptable and just how life is because they were raised no other way. Uh, if the, one of their parents cheated and the other one was okay and willing to accept and forgive, they may think that it's okay to cheat on their partner because you'll forgive them. That being said, that's not always true. Just because your mother or father's an alcoholic doesn't mean you're going to be an alcoholic. But getting to know someone in their childhood and how it made them who they are today is extremely important. And how it affected them how it it made them how they feel about it all those things can kind of show them show you what kind of person they are so if they say yeah i really didn't like this about my childhood and i really hope that doesn't happen or my parents were divorced and i don't want that for my kids because it really hurt me as a kid it shows that they grew and developed and matured from this incident from their childhood versus made it acceptable Makes sense? So if their parents cuss, sometimes they're more likely to cuss. If their parents cuss, they're disgusted by it and they don't cuss. You see what I'm saying here? It's important to look at their family life and how it affected them. But that is a very personal matter, so that may come at a later date when you get to know them. The next thing is, what kind of friends do they have? This is a really big one. <laughs> uh, there's a little song, if you want to be my lover, you got to be with my friends. Kind of true. But they're her friends or his friends, I guess, if you, you're a girl watching this, it does reflect themselves. Okay, so if their friends are, are very drug heavy and it's their good friend, I'm talking about good friends, not acquaintances, they're more likely to get into drugs, which is, I, honestly, if you're okay with drugs, then this person may be great for you. I'm not trying to say that's bad. You know, like I said, everything's on a spectrum. But, you know, if their friends are mean and rude and only care about themselves sometimes that can kind of relate on who they get along with and because they have something in common not always true but you know you have, if you're gonna get along with them you also have to respect their friends you know it's kind of like a joint thing they're not gonna leave their friends just to be with you so that can also help you see what see kind of what type of person they are uh, the next thing is uh, does she have long-term personal goal, goals that include commitment? So right off the bat, this is what you should find out about a woman. Is she ready for commitment? How, you know, is she just like, I don't know how, does she see marriage in her future? Does she just want a long-term boyfriend? Is she just kind of like going with the flow with life or does she not want anything serious? 
that's important to know right off the bat and to realize if this is somebody that you want in a long-term relationship if y'all are not at the same kind of goals or commitment levels mm, just get away from that that's that or work around it i guess but I, that's a big thing that you want to know it's it's how you can see what kind of person she is if she just likes quick flings and doesn't want anything serious or if she cheated on her past boyfriend you probably you don't want that to happen to you you know um, the next thing is her morality, and this is on a spectrum, guys. What I mean is her is her morality adjacent to yours, all right? Do y'all have the same morals, okay? So, for example, is it acceptable to kill a man if it saves five people? You ever heard of that saying, like the whole train wreck thing? Like, if you push this man off the bridge, it really overweight man and it would save the five people down below from getting hit by a train would you do it you know you could do like questions like that and really get to know them and what would they do would they save the five people or would they save the man and be like that's unfair to him they were gonna die anyway whatever you kind of got to see like what they see is more and more which is really important getting to know someone and also if they are completely on the other spec uh, other side of the spectrum than you are because if y'all don't have the same morals Woo, you need to get out that off the bat. That's how that's important to see what kind of person she is and whether she if she is quality or good to you. Is she clear about her hobbies, work, and family? If she tries to cover something up about this is kind of actually goes in point with the sugarcoating and exaggerating. Is she okay with talking to you about what she loves to do, her hobbies? What if she, for her hobbies, she is into adult toys or something, and you don't want someone walking in the house when y'all live together, and they're like, whoa, you know, or if her hobbies are gaming, you know, if she, is she real with you about these things? Does she tell you about her work, you know, and keep it real with you, or is she sugarcoating or hiding things, and about her family, too, as well? Does she seem, seem to put in the same efforts into you as you do with her? This is a big one. And this doesn't really have to do with the quality of, pers of the person. It's more about whether they're that into you or not. But yeah, if this person is rather selfish or narcissistic and they really put themselves first before you and you are putting your heart and soul into them and they're not giving the same back or somewhat near the same... Probably not the best uh, girl, and she probably will do that with the next guy and the next guy and just play it, you know. Or she's going to wait for this guy this guy that she's head over heels and just give him everything and then give everyone else very little. You want a girl that, you know, treats you the way you should be treated and gives you the honesty and integrity and you know is not she's not she's selfless to towards you a good relationship involves trust loyalty and being selfless and if she's not selfless and you're giving everything it shows you that maybe she's not the type of person for you does she wait before committing this is my last one and i this is heavy in personal opinion here but i truly think that girls who take their time in commitment are more likely to stay with you in the long run so you have to put in a lot of work to get them to want to be in a relationship with you but or to be intimate with you but when they are in a relationship with you or when they are intimate they stick there with you and they're loyal to you and they're committed you know and you know it's tough because that's extremely personal and that's an opinion but i truly think the girls that don't rush into things and they take their time and think about what they're getting into if they want to deal with you on a relationship basis th do you guys hear my cat oh my gosh but yeah if they want to take the time to really get to know you respect you and see if they want to be in a type of committed relationship with you that takes time it's not going to be over a week sometimes girls take a couple months but when y'all are committed they're with you for a very long time and sometimes that takes work you know so it may i think sometimes the girls that wait a little longer to be in a relationship or be intimate um 
are sometimes more genuine about the relationship. And I'm sure a ton of people are going to disagree with me in the comments. But I do think since women are very emotional, if they think more about the guy and think more about the relationship, they're more likely to stay long term and have a healthier relationship. But, you know, to each their own, every woman is very different. And like I said, these, these don't all apply. But I hope you enjoyed this video, you know, I thought, I hope that you found it fun, especially if, you know, you've been kind of hurt or cheated on or a woman has not treated you right and it was all about her because there are plenty of men like that and there are plenty of women like that and, you know, it goes both sides and I try to be really open-minded with this, you know, I try to not just segregate one idea to good and bad women and, you know, humans naturally do that and that's kind of difficult but i would say on the general societal acceptance thing i would say that these these are pretty good these are pretty and i don't think uh most women think into depth about this stuff so i mean you're probably good if you just want to be general and open-minded about the woman you're going to be with so anyway Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in watching more of my videos, you're welcome to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys.